Yeah, yeah. Episode 11. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Yo, what's up, everybody? We're back for another edition of Degenerate Gents. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Rest in peace, my boy, bro. You were supposed to be a blessed man, yo. I'm so sad about this. way too young. Too young. Just a kid. Yeah. All right, tonight's topics. We got two episodes left, so whatever the fuck we feel like talking about. Oh, uh, Chrissy, sorry you couldn't make it tonight, but that girl is busy. Busy Chrissy, yo. That's busy Chrissy. Miss you, girl. Catch you on the next one, babe. We lit. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Papaya. What this man is doing, right? You know what your yeah. president is doing? What's he doing right now? Yeah, What's he doing? Damn baby concentration camps he got going on. What's right going now? on right now? Yeah, I'm here. It looks like doll kennels. Like I saw it. It do, bro. Yeah, yeah. it do. That's I mean, I'm is. hearing babies crying, bro. I heard the I heard the sounds. One of the guards, one of those Mexican guards, says it sounds like an orchestra. All we need is a conductor with all the moans and the yeah. cries. You yeah. know, it's they're all crying in unison. It's completely despicable. Yeah, bro, and they, they shouldn't even be crying. They shouldn't be crying, period. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, you guys. If you don't know what we're talking about right now, we're actually talking about exactly something that happened recently this week. Welcome, degenerates and ladies. Ladies and degenerates, I'm sorry. Um, ex- apparently, our uh, celebrity in chief, our what? A, a yeah, apprentice yeah. in chief? What yeah, do we yeah, call yeah, <laughs> Our apprentice in term. chief. Well, you said Cornball in chief. Okay. Cornball yeah. in chief. Mm. Um, this is what happens now. Families are coming across the border. You, your husband, your three-year-old son, and your six-year-old daughter. Dude. And right. yeah, you get detained. Mm-hmm. Um, once you get detained, we can understand you guys get pulled in, but that's not what happens. You guys get separated, and your children go into a, what, 16 by 12 cage? Yeah, right. but they're illegal. Why should it matter? Yeah, like dog kennel. See? With aluminum foil yeah. Yeah. blankets. Those are in case of emergency blankets. Yeah, but That's see, like, w- whenever they're trying to enter this country illegally, like, shouldn't they receive anything that comes to them as a result of it? You Actually, think so? I don't know. That's how no. America was made. Yeah. Italians. Irish. Yeah. I mean, what? Chinese. Sweet Chinese. Chinese. Definitely. They, Chinese built an American railroad system. Yeah, Not yeah. a Chinese men's chance, remember? They used to build the dynamite on there. Like We helped them. Black they, people helped them build it. Uh, and they didn't get paid for it, but we're nope. not going to get into that yeah, right now. We didn't get into all that. <laughs> but, no, here's what got to me. Actually, somebody posted up something about, like, um, this white woman being detained because of something about child abuse or anything. And I can understand that. But here's what gets me. They were looking at a chance for freedom. You think they're coming here? I mean, here case in point, the, the old school saying, they're coming to steal our jobs. How do you steal a job? Yeah. That you, you have to be given. You get it? No, what do you do? Put the gloves on the ground. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, or you give me, yeah. I'm finna be on your payroll. Don't touch the lawnmower. Stick, lawn up. More. stick no, up, this okay, so That's not racist, yeah. you get what I'm saying? But like, yeah. you get it? They're not trying to take, yeah. nobody ain't out here being stockbrokers. Yeah, they're not they're here they're like. Not out here taking the jobs that you know, not, people, like, Want. We out here no. making a living, bro, and it's real talk, dude. We're not knocking them, but the thing is that, dude, I am a cook. I sweat. I work. Mm-hmm. Tell them you're a broke college student. Say it. Yeah, I, I am a broke college student. You stupid. Yeah. Tell them what you do, man. I'm you sweat and cook slave. too. I'm a cook, a slash slave <laughs> for the man. But hey, them people come over here and nah, I ain't gonna say they just people. want that opportunity they my, would die for people, what we gave them they be coming they come over here for the same opportunity that we got they come over here for the opportunity to sweat get a little money yeah. under their belt and try to live like some of these super rich people with all these companies and everything is doing right now just like every other American out here but yeah. as you already know we got a very powerful and rich 1% that got the Thanos glove on got the infinity gauntlet mm, and nice. every time Every time you get close to what they doing, finger snap. Go on. I don't feel so Yo, good, go, Mr. Ready? Starks. Three, two, one. <laughs> I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. That's, but that's what you begin, and then they showing. I think it's dominance. It's what they trying to show with the young kids being locked up in the cages. And what Trump and I think his administration is trying to do is they trying to tell everybody else like, "Yo, we down with this." Like, if you come up over here and 
you doing it's sending the wrong message to the people the actual now we get people. it we get you it know what I'm you have the nicest import car you have the greatest house built you have the greatest landscape lawn you could imagine fountains and you know what I'm saying? Everything perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, and your security system, impeccable. You built a beautiful wall around your house. You have to push buttons and everything for the gate to open. Yeah. Now, who built that house? Shit. Who put that code in? Yeah. Who landscaped that place? All you did was show up. Yep. Yeah. Same people you pushing now. Get ready for that house. Because Barbie and Tyler and Trevor, you think they're going to work for you like that? Nope. No. Good luck, bro. Yep. Yeah. Good luck on that. We're not Yo, doing it like that, man. We want to take this moment to say rest in peace to XXX Tentacion. On behalf of Degenera Gents, on behalf of um, Theo, I'm not going to even curse, like, no, Theo. D. D. Whitty. Yeah, we all send our condolences to that man's family, his friends. And anybody that he was connected to. My brother, you're only 20 years old. Died way too young. And you guys can talk first because you already Rest know. Up. I'm not even going to go so strong. You guys can just get your little list out the way. And I'll just say you guys can follow up. Yeah, I'm going to butter it up real quick. I didn't really listen to my, my, my the young man music, but I kept track of him. And he was wild at first. Yeah. But... He turned uh, a corner. He turned yeah, you yeah. sort of like fell in that, yeah. that class of like new generation. Yeah, when you rappers. When, but when, he was the first turnaround of that young. Like he was trying. Yeah, and he was the thing about it is that he was deep in like he was deep in it and like he was all the way out of his mind, sort of. But somebody in situations reeled him in and he finally got back on track, but Passion yeah. takes you there. Yeah, it was. We're something... that passionate about something. We've we've lost jobs because of this podcast. Yeah, I, I'm just, it was like no, 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 whatever. Okay, <laughs> go back. It was here, but, <laughs> but yeah, he. It was something on his. It was a, a monkey on his bag that he had just got off, but that monkey had a gun per se. Not, no, no pun ever intended for that. But that monkey had a gun on him and. He wasn't lucky enough to dodge the bullet. But what he was saying before he had died, that should be considered. Because he was saying that even though I messed up in life, I turned around. Y'all could do the same thing. Take Can we that play that clip energy. at the end of this? Can we uh, do that? Because it's been viral. It's like, yeah, I think we can I might get away be able with that. I'll see if I can go in. Just at the end so you guys know what we're talking about, man. Yeah. In case you guys are not familiar with if our If not, I'll post the link to the right, actual cool. thing in the, in the description. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it in the description. In but he, he was inspiring little young, the younger generation, some of them, to basically, you know, get up, get up off that that lean and, and learn from your and, mistakes. And yeah, and all of that, bro, and and just basically live what you live your life, but live your life with good energy. Because if you live your life with bad energy, then something like that could have happened to you. And he was, he made himself a prime example of it and for it. So. When he said, um, when that young man was talking before he had died, he was, it was a lot of pluses that was coming his way. But the whoever took his life was that, that negative that he couldn't shake. So that was my, my elaboration on it. I hope he rest up good, man, and he good. So rest in peace, Triple X. Ian, you got nothing to say? Rest in peace. I didn't know him too well. Me neither. Uh, I mean, you can cut damn, that dude. Out. What's yeah. up? You can cut that one out, but I just didn't know him. I mean, no, I get you, bro. My thing was at this. I actually, I mean, I'm an older, like, XX was like probably, oh, XXX and Just so you know, it's BS slang name. So X to me would be DMX. So we always give him the two Xs. That's just the way it works. Yeah. So anyway, XX, he, he was different to me because even as I got older, I realized the passion he had in his music came out at a very young age. It's like he actually understood the moods of his, you know, feeling. I explained to you in the last episode about the um, the Anthony Bourdain situation. We're not going to get deep in that. And then if you know enough about XX, you know about his situation. It's on top totally relatable. And I honestly feel as if, like, it just, 
it doesn't deter me. It just honestly makes me feel more concerned for those that are actually out there. Yeah. With, you know, a mental or even any type of disorder, or, you know, or any type of, you know, you, depression, bipolar. What else is there? Uh, I don't know. Schizo. Schizophrenic. schizophrenic. Don't say schizo. Man. No, 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 schizophrenic. <laughs> That's what I mean. Sorry. <laughs> schizophrenic. I was like, don't do that. Yeah. Psychotic is the word. Yeah, it's the worst yeah, word. Yeah. But yeah, schizophrenic. Yeah, That's you know serious. what I'm saying? Like, you know, but, but the thing is that if it's, if it's caught, you know what I'm saying? If it's deterred, if it's seen first, and if it's handled, it's not a problem. Exactly. Some of the most brilliant artists is actually, uh, Da Vinci was not perfect. No. Okay? Neither was Mozart. No. Neither was no, Beethoven. Neither was no, and other artists too, like Van Gogh. There you go. And da Vinci, like none of them, none of them was, none of them were clean, were super clean. All of them had something that made them different, and some of them had. And yes, that made this is us. We are actually different. putting the snippet out there. We are actually comparing XX to like a dreamer like that. And if he remember something, how old was Da Vinci when he died? How old was Van Gogh when he died? It was. I think they were relatively well, young, too. They're in their 20s. Yeah. No, they're not in their 20s. They died yeah. old. You saw the beards. You saw the, they had the yeah, time to cut years. Yeah. Yeah, most of them died. Like I think Van Gogh probably um, died around his... Look it up. Um, 30s or... If anybody died at 20, like post a comment up and let us know. Yeah. But this is our thing. If Oprah died at 20, nah. If Malcolm X died at 20, nah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Who else? Martin Luther King. Yeah, Martin Luther King. If Martin Luther King, King died at 20. Greatest. If Ian died at 20. Coretta Scott King. What if you died at 20? There's what, I, what if I died at 20? This wouldn't be possible. But Everybody deserves an opportunity, I guess, at the end of the day. And this is something that makes us sad because this man had all the opportunity. We're actually rooting for him. There was no haters on us on, from the degenerate side. No. Yeah, but dying at such a young age, doesn't that really like teach us all? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, through that tragedy, it teaches you respect for life. Well, I mean, like, I, I feel like a lot of us in, in our general age group grasp that concept, but what about the younger generation that... This is something they should learn from. Yeah. Because they don't act like, you know, I, everybody I always think, brings up the, his negative really, stuff with the domestic really violence messy. and everything, but don't act like if you was real, you ain't grow up with a little bit of domestic violence You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and we learn from Pac. Pac was You get our, what uh, I'm saying? So the thing is that, let him know, let this man be real. But yeah. he learned at 20 from his mistakes. Mm. Yeah. A lot of people aren't that enlightened to learn at such a young age and try to make a difference. Not at all. And he didn't even get a chance to f turn the page, bro. That's yeah. what sucks. Yeah. But the, that demise, uh, it all comes back in the circle of, circle of life. Because his demise will hopefully teach some other young 20-year-old that's about to get that's about to go down that same path to stop before they go down that same path. We learned, like I was saying before, we learned in the 80s, we learned in the 90s, I mean, we learned with Pac. When Pac died, we was like, whoa, wait, it's real. It's real. We, yeah, we gotta, yeah, done. we gotta, we gotta start yep. acting right, bro. Pac, Pac got touched. And then, turned around, and like, what, a year later, Biggie Big got mad, he got whacked off. We was like, nope. We done. Then, we done. just so you know, I'm a northern guy, so shout out to Stack Bundles. Yeah. I mean, yo, Chinks linked. Yep. Uh, yeah, Big L. Yeah, Big L, yeah. yeah. It's in, it, this out. is not going to stop until we stop it. You don't get it. Yeah, you can't keep going and you can't keep <sighs> yo, hitting the brick wall. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting yeah. a different, different result. result. Thank you, guys. So, on behalf of that, you guys, yo... It has been an awesome time. We're actually going to outro it at the same time. Ian stepped yep. up. What you got to say? Yeah. I, I tie just, that in. I just want to let you guys know that there will be more after this. Uh, just stay tuned. We're closing up the season. Yep. And one more episode. One more one episode. More. And right after that, we'll get back to giving you guys all the beautiful content that we provide. Yep. In a better format. And dude, oh, I, there's about to be some video. Oh, yay. Your boy coming with that oh. hard man. Uh, 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 oh, coming. You thought we were going to end kind of sad, huh? You thought we were going to end kind of sad, huh? Oh, hell no. Nah. We turn up. Three, two, one. Degenerates. We are out.